Dinner tonight, Mexican. We're gonna start off with this carne asada. Normally, what I would do is marinate the beef, I think skirt steak in beer. This time I just bought it from the store. So uh, I think it's got some spices, cilantro, onions. Smells amazing uh, for people that don't want steak or beef. I've got chicken. This is a cilantro lime marinade. So that, it smells delicious. I'm of course gonna do a guac in the mocajete. Got all my ingredients. I'll just do that real quick. Eat it with our favorite brand of chips, Juanitas. If you have a chance to try these, definitely get them. I don't know how far they sell this. Let me know if you're watching in nearby states. I know they have this in Oregon, or at least I'm assuming it because it's from Oregon and Washington, but let me know if there's um, these in California or Idaho, or what's your favorite tortilla chip? I like this one just because of the texture. It's a little bit different than a restaurant chip. I actually think it's better, but I don't know why. I think this is definitely corn tortilla. I'm gonna make the guac first, fire up the grill, get the meat grilled up, and then we will eat dinner. Of course, I gotta get cerveza first. I don't have any Mexican beer, but it's not good. My favorite beer right here. Aslan Brewery, Bellingham, Washington. Shout out. <laughs> You're funny. Hey, Bella. Do you like oh, yeah. to eat So good. As usual, pulverize the aromatics. I'm going to do cilantro first and garlic. I'll do three cloves today. Crush the garlic to release some of those oils, or at least that's what I hear people talking about. Take the white parts of the green onion, cut off the uh, ends. This part, you don't need to cut the onions too much. You're just getting it small enough so that it's easy to smash it. I will put some jalapeno in there. It's okay that's chunky because I'm gonna smash it with the mortar. Get some lime in there. Not too much. Some pepper. There we go. Oh! Got some escapees here. There we go. There we go, a little softer. Once you crush everything, you can actually work it into the mocajete because there's a lot of rough edges in there that help to get this into a very minced up, almost pasty-like texture, which is what I want. I want all the juices of all the ingredients, especially the garlic, to just almost turn into a liquid. Then what happens is all that flavor gets mixed up through the guacamole. There you go, look at that. That's the texture you want. That's gonna mix up all throughout the whole guacamole and make it taste so much better. I'm gonna show you how to do the first one and then you can do the other ones, okay? So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, most of the avocado and put it in like that, okay? Can you do that with this one? Oh, I don't know if I could do as clean. It's okay, it's no big deal. Okay. I think we'll just do one more for now. Okay. Leah. Tomato. I just use the edges and then I eat the center because I don't want the juices from the tomato. So once I mince these, Juliana, you're going to put them right in there, okay? Right. So what I'd like to do is just cut them into strips like this. I really like the savoriness or the umami of tomatoes in my guac. But lately I've been putting a lot less tomatoes. Is there a certain ingredient that you like, Juliana, in the guac? No, avocado, I guess. Oh yeah, of course. Just put your hand there. there you go. Yeah, when's the last time you saw her in person? It is crazy. When, when's that? July. So like, it's better like, to just like- lot. At this point uh, we need a lot. She just got that being sick too, because she had like a stomach bug or something. Oh, poor baby. She's so funny. <laughs> 
you're going to take this, put it in there, and then you're going to mash it very slowly, okay? Slowly, okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, do this first. And now you mix it up with the spoon. Go ahead. I think I could use a tiny bit of salt, but guess what? Mm -hmm. The salt is going to come from sriracha. Mm -hmm. You want to do this or you want me to do it? Mm -hmm. This has garlic, salt, and a little bit of spice. Mommy really likes it. And I know this is so bad and not Mexican, but it's good. Go ahead. Now you have to mix it the same way, but make sure all of it, is, it, it disappears, okay? And then we'll try it again. Mm. Honey, you want to try it? Yes. Right, and then everyone else did too. They, everyone released it all mm. at the same time. Well, right. that garlic so really coming through. Oh, Is it good? Okay. First off, shout out to Char Broil. This is not sponsored, but this is my favorite girl at the moment. Mm. It's a gas grill, it's actually attached to my house. Okay, so I've got this cast iron pan here because there's a lot of onions on the carne asada and I'm gonna cook it on this um, so it doesn't get lost on the grill itself. So I'm just gonna leave that over there. First thing I'm gonna grill is the chicken. I'm using different tongs for the chicken so that I know it's got the raw meat. Now, what I do here though, here, let me actually get this going. I learned this I, from a Mexican friend of mine. There's an onion, and you just kind of get in the grill a little bit. And then I'll just have this throughout the whole grilling session. Get my chicken tongs. These are skewers, so technically I could just use that, but of course it's just easier like this. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to grill it on uh, maybe three or four sides depending on how it kind of turns out. Then I'll put it to the top shelf and cover it to let it cook because of course chicken, you want to cook it 100% through. You don't want any raw parts. And then I'll start on the carne asada after that. So there you go, chicken. Ah, that looks pretty good. Next time I do these, I probably put some kind of oil on it because it's sticking. Ideally, you'd want some kind of oil on it though. It's kind of cold. You want to get a jacket? Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to help me? You want to lift this thing up? <coughs> Purple, it's gonna be hot, okay? You ready? Yeah, right. Go ahead, push, push. Don't touch that part though. Good job. All right, now daddy's gonna do this part. The chicken is probably done at this point. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna scrape it off and let it kind of continue to do its thing up here. I can tell it's a little bit raw still on this the, uh, inside, but it will continue to cook up here. Bye bye. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, they put some onions on there, but those onions would burn. I'm going to put it on this cast iron, caramelize it a little bit, that'll be fun. The steak's on there. You want your grill to be super hot with carne asada, at least that's what I would expect. Grill's big enough where I can do all these at once. I think I'm gonna close it because it is pretty cold out here. All right, woo! 
So normally, on the charcoal grill, I don't cover it. Here, oh yeah, these are really thick. Well, these are good pieces right here. Now, I like to have better grill marks than that, so I'm gonna put them over here. See, that's the kind of grill marks I'm talking about right there. There we go. There we go. I do not know what happened with that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right over here. These ones didn't really do that thing at all. Alright, I'll cover it one more time and these will be basically done. Woo! I think these are good to go, honestly. I actually want it to be kind of... Wow, that looks amazing. They perfectly cooked. And then the chicken is most likely done. I think it's good. Probably should tap it, but I'm not worried about it. Oh, it's dripping. That's not good. Right here. There we go. So when you're cutting your carne asada, you want to make sure you're cutting against the grain, not with it. So that it doesn't get chewy. How you slice it makes a difference. Yep, this is the chicken. The chicken done? I think it's definitely done. Mmm. It's like smoky. Especially with the guac, with the guac too. I bet it would be hella good. <laughs> Have you mm. tried the guac? Are you into guac? <laughs> You're right. <laughs>